you had this book, you have this book that mm. exploded. Like mm. Brazil was really uh, popular, was wow. crazy love, right? Wow. Uh, why did you write it? What was your heart yeah, behind I, it? You know, <laughs> I was sitting on a mountaintop one time and I just said to the Lord again, like, if my life was to end today, <laughs> have I done everything you've wanted me to do? And I felt like God was saying, write down the lessons I've taught you mm. so that they're passed on. And I thought, okay. You know, back then, people didn't just write. Now everyone writes a book. But back then, it was a, it was a unique thought. Yeah. Now it's a unique thought to not write a book. <laughs> you know, like, wow, you haven't written a book. You know, so, so it, it was a unique thing. Um, but I did not think it was for many people. You didn't? No, 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 no. I thought, you know, I get so discouraged in the church mm. because I would read the scriptures and there was an intensity of some of the things that God said and, and I would want to change my whole life and then people in the church would talk me out of it and say, oh, you don't have to be so extreme. Mm. And, and, and sometimes they would talk me out of things and then when I would follow the Lord wholeheartedly, they would they would say, I'm being too extreme. We don't have to go overboard. And I thought, I'm probably not the only one that feels this. Mm -hmm. I bet you there are other individuals like me that sit in the church and just think something is so wrong. And I just wanted to encourage that small group of people. I got it. I had no idea that so many people felt that way. Because I would read the Bible and then I would go to church and go, gosh, this feels so different um, from what I read. And I had no idea that other people had those same feelings. Yeah.